Hey everyone, welcome to Blue Mind. In this video, we will discuss a few important points related to the physiology subject repeatedly asked in the FMG exam. As you all know that physiology is a vast subject and you cannot remember each and every point. So this is a list of certain must do topics from which the questions are repeatedly asked. Action potential, a very important topic. Usually, uh, questions are asked on the action potential of the cardiac muscles, then the skeletal muscle and the smooth muscle. The phases of the action potential like the depolarization, repolarization, in which phase what happens, like in depolarization sodium influx happens, in repolarization potassium influx, so all these are important points and one-liners can be asked on this. Or you can give you a graph for and ask you to identify the phase of the polarization. You need to know the structure of the muscles, the cardiac muscle, smooth muscle and the skeletal muscle and how do they contract. Like there is the red side, the line, H line, M line and I line and the proteins involved in the muscle contraction, actin, myosin, troponin. So you need to know about this function of these proteins. The next body fluids and measurements, you need to know the body fluids, the total body water, the extracellular fluid, intracellular fluid, plasma volume and their concentration, the distribution and the third methods of the measurement like for total body water we use the deuterium oxide and for extracellular we use the sucrose insulin sodium thiosulfate and the ecf it is measured indirectly by subtracting the total body water by the ecf and for the plasma volume we use the radioactive iod so these are some few one-liners asked previously in the fmg next a very very important topic the mechanoreceptors i would give it a five star for you must do it these mechanoreceptors they usually sense the touch and the pressure and the function you need to know are the location in the skin at what layer they are present and the pessimian carries the fast vibrations. Repeatedly asked one liner about the pessimian corpus well, is that it causes the it carries the fast vibrations and about the knuckle it is a slow adapting. Then the next topic, pain five is also a very very important topic, a uh, five star which you must do. Then these are classified into the ABC, then A is having classified into the Delta, Gamma, Alpha and Beta and the, the questions are asked which is the fastest, so it is the A Alpha which is the fastest and the B associated with the ANS preganglion and questions are asked like which is susceptible to oxygen which is most susceptible to the pressure, so you need to know all the one-liners asked in this. Spinal pathways also a very important topic can be asked correlation with the anatomy. If we do the patch section of the spinal cord, we can see anterior lateral and dorsal column in the spinal cord. The questions are asked usually on the function, uh, what kind of fibers do they carry, like the dorsal carries the fine patch proprioception, then the lateral carries the pain temperature and the anterior pressure crude touch. So these are certain points, so, so these are certain previously repeated topics. Then moving on to the neurotransmitters. Neurotransmitters also a very important topic. Certain neurotransmitters are there like the aldosterone, then the ADH, dopamine. From where do they release and what is their function? You need to know it thoroughly. Because they also regulate certain mechanisms like the feedback, positive feedback, negative feedback. Then where are they released from? So these are certain funds asked from the neurotransmitters. Repeatedly questions are asked on the cells of the stomach and their function. Uh, in the stomach, there are certain cells, the G cells, the I cells, S, D, what do they secrete and what is their mechanism, like they either increase the acid secretion or increasing the gastric motility. So you need to know these factors causing the acid secretion and the motility. Sleep cycle, classified into the two stages, non-rapid eye movement, rapid eye movement. Non-rapid eye movement has been classified into the one, two, three and the four. You need to know about the movements seen in these stages, like bruxism seen in the stage two, then sleepwalking stage, sleepwalking seen in the stage three, then K complex and sleep spindle seen in the stage two. You also need to know the waves. You also need to read about the sleep waves. Four kind of waves: delta, alpha, theta, and beta. At which kind of phase, uh, phase we can sleep. Questions are asked in which condition, which kind of wave is seen. Like in deep sleep, we can see the delta and when we are awake, we can see the beta. Then frequency of this is also asked, so you need to know each and every point about this. Sleep waves and the sleep cycle. The next topic, glomerular filtration rate, factors affecting the glomerular filtration rate. 
Questions are asked on the factors, which factors increases and which factors decreases the GFR. The efferent arterial constriction and the efferent arterial dilation. Efferent arterial dilation and the efferent arterial constriction causes increase and if there is ADX stimulation, it will decrease the GFR and if there is kidney edema also, it will decrease the GFR. So, can we act as a one-liner or one set kind of a question? Then trans transporter substances or process nephron. Uh, the nephron has certain parts the PCT, the DCT, collecting the loop of Henwick. So which structures are passed in this? Maxima absorption upper, maxima absorption of all the substance uppers, is uppers in the PCT. And this is a previously asked question. And where does the ADH act it act on the collecting the This is also a one line and asked previously. Clearance of the substances. This is to know the function of the kidney and the rate of the glomerular filtration. So substances like inulin and the TAH glucose, they all are given and the tested the clearance of the kidney. So this is also a very potent topic from which the questions have been asked repeatedly. In terms of the kidney, there are certain cells in the kidney like the macula, dental, JG and peritubular. The function you need to know. The JG helps in the secretion of the renin and peri peritubular helps in the secretion of the erythropoietin which helps in the stimulation of the uh, red blood cell formation than JT cells for the renin. Then make it other such you need to know the function and the exact location. Moving on to the oxygen dissociation dissociation curve, also a very important topic. A must to the questions are passed on the shape, it is a sigmoid shape, and questions are passed to the factors which increases, but means the factors which causes the left dissociation and the right dissociation. So you need to know all these factors. Lung volume and capacities. Questions are asked on the definition of this volume. There are four volume and four capacities. You need to know. Like the RE and the IRV. The expiratory is a volume mm -hmm. and expiratory is a volume and the capacities like the thyroid capacity, the open lung capacity, mm -hmm. then vital capacity. So you need to know the definitions of this. The next topic, breathing regulation. Questions are asked okay. on the uh, types of the breathing regulation, neural and chemical. Chemical done by the chemoreceptors, the aortic and the uh, carotid. And neural means the breathing center present in the medulla. And the pons, which help in the regulation of the yeah. breathing. You need to know the location and if there is damage to this, what kind of uh, diseases can be seen, you need to know about that. There are very repeatedly asked the topic pneumocytes present in the lungs. Two types, type 1 and type 3. Type 2 produces the surfactant and type 1 has in the gases exchange. So surfactant repeatedly questions are asked. Uh, the main component, then when it is produced, then if there is damage, what can happen? So you need to know all the points about the pneumocyte. Pressure volume group questions are asked oh, on this. Uh, a, graph and a graph is given. Then asked to identify. Then mark the structure and ask you to identify like uh, this says about the mitral valve closure and this says about the opening of the aortic wall in wall. So questions are asked like this, so you need to know even this one. Mechanism. BP reg blood pressure regulation mechanism. There are certain mechanisms like the chemical, neural, and the renin angiotensin, and certain organs are involved, like the neuro uh, nervous system. Then the kidney is involved, and also the blood vessel causes vasodilation, vasos or constriction to regulate the blood pressure. And it is a negative feedback mechanism. Uh, one minor asked. So these are certain points uh, you need to read about the blood pressure. Some important reflexes in the physiology like the dissolved cherish and brain reflexes. There are certain uh, stimulus for this and when the stimulus activates there will be increase in the heart rate, blood pressure, respiratory rate. So you need to know the stimulus and what is the effect of them. Moving on to the slow, slow volume curve. By this curve we can identify the obstructive diseases and the restrictive diseases. If it's a graph like this, then this is seen in the normal individuals and if there is a restrictive then it will move to the right side and if it is obstructive then it will move to the left side. So image based questions are asked so you need to see even the graph. Then jugular venous pressure very very important topic. There are the waves of the jugular, the waves of the JVP, A, V, X, V, T. You need to know what does this wave signify and if there is defect in any heart disease, which kind of waves can be slow. Like in uh, atrial fibrillation, A is absent and if it is changed A was then it's in the first type of fibrillation. Like this one liners are asked and you need to move. And it can be asked in integrated with the medicine also. 
ECG in this you need to know the waves the P wave QRS T wave and uh, questions are asked that P wave signifies what so it signifies criteria depolarization and the QRS complex what is its time and the diseases related to the ECG we will study it in the medicine uh, like atrial fibrillation atrial flutter and all they all are covered in the medicine and hypothalamus hormones so this is a part from the endocrine logic you need to know the hormones which are secreted from the hypothalamus like the releasing hormone GnRH then growth hormone releasing hormone inhibitory hormone and they act on the pituitary and pituitary then again give certain uh, hormones so you need to know the whole pathway and certain hormones act by feedback mechanism so you need to know even that one the function of the hormones like the ACCH which act on the adrenal then the insulin the thyroid hormones you need to know the function so this is the list of the important topics you need to know from the physiology subjects needed for the FMG. So that's it in this video. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please like the video, subscribe to my channel and also share it with your friends. Bye-bye.